they still running the traction control I saw on the dash yesterday, Ramney? Yeah, of course, in the rain, you have a switch and you can turn it on and uh, you can, they can adjust that. Yes, it, it does determine how much, as soon as the bike starts to wheel spin, it does similar to what a Formula One car has the ignition cut out yep. and, you, and, and it doesn't allow it to spin anymore. Uh, and the difference is it's legal here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no flashing lights or yeah. tail lights or, 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 or what have you. But uh, no, everybody says, does Honda have that? Does Yamaha? For sure they have a management system. Is it a complete cutout? We don't know. Nobody seems to know. But for sure there's a management system on all bikes. Yes, indeed, Randy, doubtless. And again, as we watch David Haya just clipping off into pit lane, to unline what you said, that team is developing a brand new racing motorcycle in public at the racetrack. What we have seen that team do in the past couple of years, for my money, is absolutely astonishing. You know, you, you know going back to the problems of, of you know, coming with a new bike, look at Honda. Exactly. Honda, Honda's been in business for... The might of Honda. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly, Toby. But... You know, you've got a reigning world champ. They, they've won. Honda's won the titles the past six years in a row. And where's Honda right now? You know, today uh, they're in a, in, in, in a little bit of chaos, and they're and they're reverting back with Alex Crivier's bike to a 1999 machine. Uh, yeah. hey, the first Honda in the championship is Barros in four. Yeah, and and Kenny Roberts doesn't have that choice. Yeah, they have the choice. Yeah, they can run last year's bike, but they know that they've got improvements that they've got to make and for the future, and they've got to do it. Whereas Honda being such a much, you know, a bigger company, for sure, they've got ongoing test riders happening right now in Japan as we speak, trying to make it uh, this gap up to the Suzuki and the Yamaha. Yeah, just the Medeiros again. This year, that bike has been totally reliable and has scored points or a point in every race. Yes. 15th, 14th, 15th, 12th. Yeah, and, and, you know, when you look at the the list, uh, as I said in in Jerez to Dean Miller, the trainer of, uh, of uh, Nabuato Aoki, you know Aoki, I think at the time was 13th fastest. You know how competitive it has been for us as television commentators to uh, to look at a schedule to first to 14th place or 15th last week. Sixteenth. Uh, no, sixteenth was 1.1 second. Yeah, the, something the, the best ever for the first sixteen. And you you imagine? I think I explained it. If you're standing on the other side of the tennis court, serving me a ball, we're facing face to face. You imagine lining up 16 bikes, and if you're the 16th, and I'm looking at you, Toby, going, yeah. man, I don't have to go much faster to get over to the other side of that net. But that's and that's the 16 guys. So for them to get into the points for the three times, I'm, uh, the four Grand Prix for sure, it's been really good for them, a a and for David. Well, here is Alex Crivier. Crivier is in 11th position at the moment because Jeremy McWilliams has improved in time this afternoon. One of three people to have improved. McWilliams now 10th. Gibbonow has improved to 14th. And Connie Kanishi has improved for 17th. But it's still Roberts at the top from Checker, Biaggi and Rossi.